oh, I got the tablecloth there. My, my bad. This tablecloth oh, bad. is hoarded. <laughs> this is a fine tablecloth. <laughs> it is. We're back. We are. We are. Um, it wasn't a... Uh, Stiller. I gotta be perfectly honest. Everything went exactly the way it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. You know, it really did. No upsets, no, no real like close game. No high drama, no, no hijinks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. some hijinks. Hijinks. <laughs> hijinks is a good word. I like words that involve the letter X. Yeah, it's, X. It's, a, it's a good letter. Marks a spot. Uh huh. Buried treasure. Yep, for sure. That's uh, the pirates. That's right. Um, probably. That's a myth, you know. It I, is. Pirates never really marked it. With, with an X. X? Yeah. yeah. Did they draw maps? They did draw maps. Yes. But they didn't mark the treasure. They didn't mark the That maps. seems logical. Yeah. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> exactly. Right where the treasure is. Pill, pillage our, pill for our treasure here. Um, Lennox and Corning, you know, was was kind of the game of the week mm-hmm. as far as four or five in the district. And um, talent-wise, it was, it was dead even. Right. And Lennox came out with a... 34 to 20. Went by a couple scores. Well, and yeah, that doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, it was a good game. Uh, it doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, it was it was uh, 28. It was 28 or 27, 20 late. And uh, Corning was driving. Corning was driving for the winning 20 score. 20 late. That, that 28 and 20 late. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Corning was driving. And uh, they threw a pick six. Oh. In the, in the closing was. moments. So, I mean... Lennox definitely deserved win mm-hmm. the better team, but it was a very, 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 very close game. Well contested Basically game. one score game yeah. until the very end, but that pretty much seals the deal, you know, as far as the district goes. Lennox yeah. will get that fourth spot, mm-hmm. you know, Nuggets go play Elkhorn and Xyra. That's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Lucky them. Um... FM Nish Nevada, uh, 68 to 6. 68 to 6. Some people were predicting that close to triple digits for oh, FM yeah. after coming off a loss. So, triple digits. I, guess, I mean, holding them, holding them to 68, holding you know, exactly. Not horrible. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, you don't want the other team to score 68 points on you, but Boy, I, it could have been worse. I, well, I'll tell you what, I. Uh, Went to the uh, I went to the FM Nish Nevada baseball game last summer mm-hmm. in Tabor, and after the nastiness that was exchanged between the two crowds that day, um, I thought it might be a hundred. Oh yeah, when it was all said and done. Yeah, <laughs> I think that, you know that baseball game was probably a lot more competitive. I think uh, it was easier for tempers to flare when yeah, it's more competitive. I suppose. Was, you know, you get up. Fifty to nothing, and you you kind of like lose that vigor. To yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I you just, really want to humiliate the other team. I remember some of the stuff that was said, and I'm thinking, wow. I mean, I know it's a little easy to think about football season, but your kids are going to have to go out and take that by <laughs> kicking. The way kids, that went through. Your parents. kids are going to be the ones that have to go out and play at them. But, yeah. You know, go for FM for keeping it under seventy. And they could have. I think we would agree they could have scored hundred. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, uh, Nishabata gives us 68 two weeks in a row. They gave mm-hmm. up 68 to FM, and they gave up 68 to the Mondeman West Harrison Hawkeyes. <laughs> Mondeman West Harrison Hawkeyes. There you go. We'll be talking about them here again a little bit. Stay tuned. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Sydney, this is the game I went to. I went down to College Springs. Mm-hmm. The Springs. The Springs. The Springs. The Springs. Up. I hit the Springs. I went down to the Springs. Not, um, not very competitive? You know, it wasn't. Um, it was 65. Right o'clock for quite a while? Yeah, 65-24. Um, yeah, it's Sydney. Mm-hmm. They uh, they can do pretty much what they want. They're so fast. Um, they scored in a, a variety of ways. They, didn't they? they did. a variety of players. Scored in a variety did. of ways. Nick Shipley did most of the damage with just blazing speed. But they did they did a little bit of everything. Um, uh, Noah McKeever was still, I think, a little bit banged up from the FM game, mm-hmm. so he carried very few times. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty smart, you know. When right. You have a huge game coming off of a real physical game like that. Yeah. You have a game that you know is not going to be super competitive, you know, yeah. why not save your uh, star players some hits. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's uh, 65-24, and... Um, it was over pretty quick. I was going to look for some nightlife in college. I was going to hit the clubs. Oh, yeah. Find yeah. a techno club. But you, you just couldn't narrow down the choice, could you? There's like, too many choices. It seems so good. College oh. Springs is a little overwhelming. You know, the bright lights, <laughs> big city. So for sure. A small, a small town boy like you from Omaha going to right. the Springs. I ended up at, uh, I ended up in Essex. Oh, a little yeah. more your style. A little uh, silver <laughs> tanker, but uh, that's a that's story for a different day. <laughs> Uh, Silver Tanker in Essex, yes I did. But, Silver uh, Tanker? Silver Tanker, used to be a library. Huh. All the books. <laughs> oh, all of that book, Martin. 
that <laughs> buckler and it's overrated. I was drinking Give me some alcohol. Give me the highlight. <laughs> They had the highlight too. I was pleased. Oh, good, good for them. Uh, Cam made a statement against Stanton. You know, Cam's been frustrated for a long time mm-hmm. against Stanton, and, and it was Cam sixty, Stanton sixteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeff Marshall for Stanton managed to hundred yards rushing. I mean, he's okay. a decent guy. He's such a good, he's player. good player. He is. He's stud. No question about it. They're a little overmatched against Cam. Yeah, um, sixty sixteen. So Cam shakes off the frustration, and they put themselves in position. Um, you know, stay relevant mm-hmm. in, the, in the district hunt. Huh? You know, if they beat Sydney in week eight, um, they'll take second. That's yeah. point of Rachel. So, I'm not saying it's going to happen. Right, but right. They got to believe it. They got to believe it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. They got to believe they have a chance. Um, Heartland, um, Heartland, unfortunately, had to go up to <laughs> Harrison County and play Woodbine. And as we spelled out several times, but Harrison County, that's just an angry, <laughs> angry, angry, angry place, place, man. They don't play by the same rules everybody else does. They're a different breed up there. Plus, everybody wears camouflage all the time. It's really hard to see them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they like to sneak up on people. Really, it's really hard to see them. They blend them <laughs> in. You know, absolutely. Um, but it was wood by seventy two, Heartland twenty. So it's just gone down the toilet for, for Heartland. Mm. You know, and they haven't won since, ever since they got that one win against Hankney Christian. It might be the worst eighteen eight man team in the state. But they scored twenty. I mean, you know, at least they got yeah, to stick yeah, exactly. I mean, they, you know, they haven't been scoring more than six for right. a while. So well, that was points. good. Um, you know, and, and then the next one, eleven man football. You know, the corner conference. Uh, East Mills went up to Avoca and got beat twenty four ten. Um, you know, both teams really lose because they had to be in Avoca in the first place. <laughs> but uh, that's just a lose lose proposition. That's just a lose proposition. You don't really win when you win in Avoca. No, kind of tie. Yeah, but twenty four ten, solid win for solid win. Mm-hmm. Right? I think that one was. was. Well, I mean, yeah. and man, I took uh, East Mills. That may have just been a, 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 a personal choice. Yeah, it might have been. You know, it, it, uh, I think HST is just a little bit better. But um, they still have Mavoka. So exactly. it's, it's a loss at the end of the day. All right. Well, you know, and, uh, HST didn't have to travel, so they didn't have to go through Oakland and put up with that smell. That's I mean, true. It, it, that had to take at least seven points off East Mill's score. That's what do you think? I mean, well, if they came up, yeah, they would have come up that way too. Yeah. They would maybe they uh, maybe they were prepared for it. They held their breath, <laughs> wore gas masks or something. Yeah, yeah, who knows? And then uh, Shenandoah, Shenandoah, yeah, got another win. Well, do you call it a win? You beat Clarendon <laughs> this year. I don't really know. I, call I, it a win. I think uh, when you're Shenandoah, you call anything a win. You know, yeah, I think you're right. You, you can't you can't be picky on what you're going to call a win for Shenandoah. I mean, um, you know, they had three on the season. Is that right? Yeah, I believe that's correct. Three on the season. Wow. They beat the Academy. They beat... Good for uh, Coach Brian Diekman. Yeah, good for Diekman. They beat, they beat the Academy. They beat East... Or not... They beat East, East Green. Not East Mills. East Mills. <laughs> East Mills and uh, East Green Grand Junction. East yeah. Green? East Green. No, they didn't beat East Green. <laughs> they didn't beat East Green. <laughs> they beat Green County. I think it's called Green County. It's what JSPC... It's what... Jeffrey East, Stratton? Yeah, it's like a bigger conglomerate okay. right now. So it's it's like even bigger green. now. Yeah. Okay. And they beat them. Yep. Well, good. Yep, they did. Good so, for them. Well, uh, yeah, so they have three wins. Definitely. They're going in the right direction. They are going in the right direction. Three winless seasons, you know, to getting three wins in one season. Yeah. How many yeah. did they have last year? Three. Three? Two. Don't get stuck on three. Yeah. Don't get <laughs> stuck on three. That's a unlucky number, man. Yeah. Beat, uh, beat Red Oak here in a couple weeks. And four win season be and beat a rival. That's pretty a good, good season good for the Mustangs. Yeah. yeah, that'll be a competitive game. I think it's a, it's a pretty even match again this year, like it was last mm-hmm. year. So both teams have a lot to play for there. Uh, but that's you know that's last week's game. Yeah, you know I, I wish it was. I wish there was more cutting up to do and more. <laughs> it was pretty much, pretty much what it was. What it was, you know, in the Lennox corner game is pretty good scrap. But uh-huh. Lennox secured the Lennox secured the fourth seed, but our corner conference teams did you know about as well as we expected right. them to, but. You know, it wasn't. You know, sometimes you have a real exciting week, and sometimes you, you can't just, make it uh, more no. than it is. Sometimes. You can't wait. Well, say you can't polish a turd. Yeah. You just can't really polish a turd. I, I tried it once. Did you? Yeah. It didn't work out no. for you, did it? Didn't come out well. No. No. <laughs> so, right, we're going to come back. We'll be back shortly, and we're going to recap this week's games. No, we're not. We're not. We're going to. Or we're going to preview. preview. We're going to yeah, preview yeah, this yeah. week. We already recapped we last week. Yeah, okay. So that's four. All right. So, we'll see you then. All right.